Hi, Steph. Hi. How are you? Tired again? Tired, yeah. Long been a day. Long, really good full day again. Yeah. So this has been our second day at the Western Price Conference, and there was um, just two tracks today, so everybody had to go into one or the other. So which track were you in today? Um, I was in the first track, which was more on nutrition and the basic diets, cod liver oil, raw milk, fertility foods, sacred foods, things like that. Only I have to say I skipped the first few sessions and actually had a great time checking out all of the really cool vendors here. Playing hooky with me, Playing actually. Playing hooky with you, actually, <laughs> yes. I learned a lot of really interesting, amazing things, um, things I really didn't know before. So I feel like I learned equally as much as I probably would have in one of the sessions. Just a different variety of things, kind of all mixed in together. So yeah, it was really, really good. Um, I was able to pick up a few things for my family for future cooking options in my own kitchen. So I'm really excited about that. Got some powdered coconut milk and some coconut flour that I won't have to order and at the show price. So that was very exciting for me. As gluten free, right? Yeah, the coconut flour is gluten free. It's just ground, basically ground coconut flakes. It's just ground into flour. So yeah, it's very usable. And I have a recipe from uh, Health Food for Vegans on their website for a gluten free cookie. It's just take the coconut flour and shred it. So coconut. you're going to post this recipe on Mary's Heart with pictures after you Can make you it, right? Post something afternoon what were the main things that just jumped out at you that you didn't know before or that just were like whoa this is really vital important issue is, it's not just a single problem, it's a whole body problem. And you have to basically go through detoxing and cleansing before you go into the even the idea of wanting to um, right. to conceive. And so yeah, it's just a whole body problem. And even uh, obese women are just as likely to have an infertility or a possible mis miscarriage as a thin woman who, who is unhealthy and not eating right and not eating the right fats. So it, it, it's a whole body problem and everybody is at risk if you're not a healthy person. Right. So just basically that it as was, women for me in particular and then as a guy and just thinking about all of the things that he should be eating, all the things he should not be eating. that to me is a really novel concept because as women are sitting here going, if we're having problems, it's it's our issue, it's our issue. And yeah, we need we take ownership of that, but just to hear yeah. them... And really you know, and put a large time, burden it, it of responsibility really, it on the really dads. Can, it really can, can be the dad's fault. Yeah. Uh, it may not be the woman's fault. It, it may, just of course, it may be something that the effort. woman is having a problem with. Maybe she's only ovulating once every 14 months. You never right. know what's really going on. She needs to get her issues figured out, yes. But the dad also needs to have his ducks lined up and ducks in a row and be just as healthy to be able to give her and the next generation the correct amount of sp the sperm count needs to be high it needs to be good quality yes it's yeah. just the way it is hello <laughs> yeah. um it just it just needs to be good quality stuff coming from the dad yeah and um his lack of antibiotics his cleansing in his gut his eating the right kinds of foods not sneaking the pringles in the in the doritos in there at late night <laughs> snacks when mommy's asleep hello um those things do happen and or the oreos or whatever it is yeah. that, that they get the craving for um those things do add up and they do contribute to um obesity in men or or the same types of things that women can have problems with the guys can have problems with too right so so other than just the overall thing was there um was there anything else that really stood out to you other than the, just the joint responsibility and the different issues that both men and women face with that 
you know, there was a, just a lot of things that were very, very important. Um, really, the biggest thing that stood out to me was was the number of women in America, especially in America, because we're not eating what we're supposed to be eating. The we're on our America, like third, fourth, and fifth generations yeah, of not eating what we're supposed grab to be that eating. From my notes, it's. Um, the number of infertility women in, in America who have infertility ranging from the ages of 15 to 44 is 7.3 million. Yeah. And that's a really high, high number for infertility of women in America. Incredibly And it's, it's mostly because of all the antibiotics we've been exposed to. It's because of the toxins in our environment. It's because of leaky gut issues. It's because of eating lack of basic nutrition, ba basic poor nutrition, bone structure, poor, poor bone structure. Yeah, just basically all of that, and just how important it is to go through a cleanse of some kind. Um, how important it is to even as a teenager, and before as a young adult, to be eating the right things you need to be eating, and possibly going through cleanses before you get married, you need to be able to produce a healthy next generation. Very, very important. Pretty fascinating stuff. And the list of sacred foods, as we all know, goes on and on and on from yeah. cod liver oil to butter. And to Weston A. Price website has a really and good and articles yes. and stuff on the sacred foods. Those are foods. all really good, really good on the traditional diets and what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating. And it's just a matter of sticking to it. It is a matter of sticking to it. It's <laughs> just we a all really know. With those cravings that get us, we're just yes. really the downfall. Yeah. So, what are you planning on doing tomorrow? You. The cancer session is tomorrow. Tomorrow is the cancer sessions, and they look like they're going to be full of intense information. That really good information. Super, super intense, and it's going to be preventing all day and treating long. and yes, all day long. I will not be skipping any of those to go to the vendors today. It was my day for vendoring because I had already had some of this other information. Right. But tomorrow, I'm not skipping sessions at all. This is important information. Yeah. So I'm Nick Gonzalez and Dr. Nick Gonzalez Thomas. And Tom can, uh, Cohen, I believe yeah, Tom is his Cohen, name, yeah. Dr. Thomas Dr. Tom Cohen. Cohen, yeah, and I believe his name is Dr. Nick Gonzalez, yes, I they're both, two they're doctors, both doctors, yes, both in naturopathic cancer treatments and prevention, so it so looks It should really be good. amazing information, and I hope Seth takes very good notes and types them up and shares them with as everybody. I'm going to try to find a plug-in for that laptop that I have with me <laughs> and see if we can keep the battery going, because notes go so much faster yeah. on the laptop. No so. doubt. All right, Sybil, we'll talk to you after tomorrow then. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Take care. You too.